teach you how to explore and find and create the customized XPath for your uh, automation project. So we'll take an example of uh, gmail.com. And to get the XPaths, you need to install Firebug, which is the plugin for the Firefox. And uh, at the same time, you have to install a plugin called Firepath, which works as a plugin for the Firebug. So now we have opened the uh, gmail.com page and uh, now let's click on the Firebug. Here it opens a window and this button is called inspect element. So first you have to click on this inspect element button and now you have to move on the element on the page where uh, you want to generate the XPath or get the XPath. So as soon as you hover the uh, mouse point over the element, it, it displays you the XPath of that element. So generally, uh, it, it depends upon the ID of that particular element using which Firebug generates the XPath. But there would be multiple instances where you will not get the ID thing and you will have to create your own um, uh, XPath. And for that thing, you need to understand what is the syntax for to generate the XPath. So what you can do is simply remove it and again as here you can see there are multiple elements you can hover the mouse over the tag name and you'll see that the element has been selected in the web page. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to generate the XPath for this canvas thing. So generally uh, the XPath syntax starts with a double forward slash followed by a star and asterisk and then square back it. In square bracket you have to write at the rate for the attribute thing so you can take the any attribute of this element so now the question arises that how much html you need to know before generating or before creating any x path for any element so it's just that you have to be aware of the uh, format of the html thing and you have to know what is called attribute so this is something called the tag name and this is these are something which is called attributes so ids and its value is canvas which is uh, an attribute class and its value called circle is an attribute so what we have to do is simply just copy or type this after the add the rate and paste it remove the double quote and place a single quote here and hit enter so it selects one matching node it displays you here one matching node is found so that means you can now work on this particular element so there may be multiple instances where you will see that there are class for the uh, two or more than two elements with the same value circle so in that case what you can do is you can concatenate other attributes with the one square by adding one more square bracket and placing add the red symbol here and now suppose I'm going to take an example of uh, I'm going to add this height attribute where the value is 96 so simply just place the cursor here type height and value in single quote which is 96 hit enter and you'll again get the same um, element here okay one matching node is found so it is up to you that uh, and it, it it's up to the scenario what kind of scenario you are falling in so it depends only on that and uh, you can create multiple uh, you can create your own xpath by adding multiple attributes okay so this is one example so let's remove it and let's go to the uh, another example suppose the circle value is random it is being generated dynamically and it's something like circle 8 9 blah 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 blah, blah. so here in that case it these values keep changing every time okay and circle remains same so if you know that any value in the attribute is going to remain same and there are some other instances or there are some other part of the value which keeps changing every time the page load or after a, any event on the page so in that case what you can do is you can use instead of using add rate for the attribute you can use starts with which will be placed before this uh, before this add rate class so what you have to do is write starts with and then a bracket in bracket and the rate class will remain same and replace this equals to with a comma and value will remain same so what happens here the values keeps changing remains changing uh, so and a circle remains same so what you have to do is remove the eliminate the uh, dynamic changing value and keep the fixed value here and now press enter uh, something is wrong here 
so the value is starts with at the rate class that's okay class and then the well oh I forgot to add close this bracket so places hit enter two matching nodes nodes are found okay so what is happening here there are two class with the same value circle and canvas okay so it selects two values so what you can do in this case is here there is one more thing called style and style doesn't contain anything it's blank or it's containing a space so what you can do is can create one more attribute which is starts with at the rate and the name is style equals to nothing i'm not sure whether it contains a space or nothing so i'll try with the space and it doesn't select any value oops it doesn't work okay for the time being instead of uh, class I'll, I'll use ID and later I'll, I'll cover it how to handle this situation okay ID and ID is equal to canvas so here it goes so now suppose the uh, you have to go on the parent node which is which keeps changing every time with every page load or with uh, any event on the page so in that is what you can do you can use the parent there is a flexibility that uh, xpath gives you is that you can move backward forward and you can move on a, on the parent of the current node and on the child of the uh, current node so this is a flex flexibility given by the xpath which you won't find in css selector so what i can do in this case just put a forward slash and type parent okay and after parent just put these columns here and put the name of the parent tag which is a div and press enter so it selects one element which is the parent element of the selected element okay and same way you can go on the child node in case if you want uh, suppose here I have to I have selected the parent and uh, I have to go on the on its parent that means the forefather of the current selected element so just you have to put the double dot and press enter it selects the parent of the parent of the current selected node okay well uh, we'll cover these things later but before that what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to teach you uh, the starts with and contains function so here what is happening is uh, the the that canvas thing was containing uh, was starting with the canvas and it doesn't matter what is the uh, changing value so you can put the starts with function here and you can keep the fixed starting value of that attribute so what happens in case where this can also keeps changing and only vas remains same okay so the changing value or the dynamically i'm going to put it into v into the dots and now what happens there is only few value which is uh, like in between or anywhere in the value thing and the value of that attribute so instead of starts with now what we'll use is we'll use contains that the dot was just to let you guys understand so what we have to do is we have to keep only the fixed value and hit enter it selects the one mat one node or the one element so based on these two functions you can also use it to handle the dynamic components or the dynamic xpath but there are other uh, flexibility also given by the xpath that you can use in your case to perform or to generate or to move on your uh, desired element so what is that what i have to do is will keep the same example or instead of this uh, taking the example of this class thing will be much better to explain all the methods so instead of this i'm going to take this node where class is equals to circle mask double forward slash star square bracket and square bracket attribute and then the paste the value replace the value from replace the double quote 
with a single quote hit enter it selects even elements okay now what happens suppose the parent element uh, the x path of the parent element which is the parent element of this node which is its div class card singing card tree shift or not something 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 so this is the value that keeps changing with every page load or load or with every page event so what we have to do is in case if you want to select this element and it keeps changing but the child of this node is fixed okay it doesn't change or you can just uh, figure out what is the logic behind the changing of this uh, the the value of this element so what we have to do you have to find a fixed value of the child and suppose I have I'm taking the example of this div class circle mask and now I have to go on the parent node and parent I'm not going on the parent node directly because it keeps changing every time so write the x path of the child node and after put a forward slash and type parent and then double colon okay and the tag name of that parent node here in this case the parent tag is div this is the child element and the parent element node is starting with div so put div here so it selects one element okay so this was logic to go on the parent element instead of typing parent and double colon and div you can directly put double dot to go on the parent and again put a forward slash and double dot so this way you can go on the parent and parent so in case if you have to move downwards that means to the child node of that selected element and uh, the scenario would be something like the child node attributes keep changing and you cannot figure out any logic to counter this and in that case you find the parent node which is fixed and using the parent node x path you are trying to move on the child node so here what i'm going to do this is my x path and i'm trying to do i'm trying to generate an x path for the div thing which is a child element of this current selected node so what we'll do putting a single slash does this task so div the tag name of the child node and its position position is how many divs are there one two and they may be more so the position is one so i'll place one and hit enter okay what is wrong here Oops, i didn't expanded it and apparently i wrote div for the sibling so it is canvas so what i'll do put a forward slash and type canvas okay so it does it selects the child node so suppose there are multiple uh, canvas okay so what i'll do i'll write here child okay and uh, you can put the colon and the tag name okay you can put the tag name and it will select the desired tag of the child element of the div class div parent now in case so let's take an example that there may be an instance where multiple child nodes are there with the same tab uh, tag name which is canvas so uh, what i'll do i'll put a forward slash here type the tag name here and in bracket where we were putting the position of that element we'll type a function called position and here you can uh, type the position let's take lesson three you can do it you can do lesson two or something like this you can also use last function you can do something like this as well last minus one so this is how you can track the exact location of that child node okay so this is how you can move to your parent and the to the child but what in case where you want to move forward and backward in the sibling category okay the siblings are something like this the parent is div and siblings are div id div class form id so if you want to move on the siblings backward or forward in that case x xpath gives you some functions called um, preceding sibling and following sibling preceding sibling is to go back 
and following sibling is to go forward. So what I have to do is you have already wrote the x path of the current selected element. Now put a forward slash and type preceding hyphen sibling double colon and the tag name of the preceding sibling. So there may be multiple instances of the divs in case suppose there are multiple instances of the div. So in that case you can select div 1 or 2 but here in this case div is only 1. So we will not put any position we will simply type preceding hyphen sibling double colon and div. So it selects the preceding sibling of the current selected node. Okay. So this is how you can move backward in the sibling category but what if you have to move forward so in that case just replace this preceding with the following hyphen sibling double colon and then div so it was my current selected node circle mask you can see circle mask and the circle mask so now you're typing here following hyphen sibling and then div so what it will do this is the current selected node and it will move further on the sibling category and it will select this div this one okay so just hit enter and see what does it do it selects the next coming div and in case if you have to move on the form thing then it's just replace this div with the form and it will lead you on the form so this is how you can track or you can handle the dynamic changing components where you cannot figure out the logic behind that or you cannot implement that logic into the xpath you can simply keep or take the reference of any fixed element xpath and you can move on the parent you can move on the child you can move on the preceding sibling or you can move on the fo uh, following sibling so this is a feature which is only given by the xpath in css you can only move forward you cannot go back on the parent or you cannot precede proceed on the uh, siblings so in that case xpath will be the only only um, locator which will be helping you in that case so here almost everything is covered now <coughs> and in next class uh, you will see uh, how to handle css selector and before that i'll uh, I, I i want to add some more points which is called descendants descendants is something like if you have for, uh, found one element and if you want to go on the any depth of that element it's not just child it may be the child of child in that case what you can do is you can type descendants d e s e n d a n t and again the double colon and you can put the tag name of the node so this is how you can move into the any depth of the current selected element so keeping expert in mind this is that's it we have covered almost everything and I hope that this will help you. Thanks for watching the video. Hit like if you like the video.